Hello people of internet. <gasps> Look at this big pile of puzzles. I've been very naughty. Hello people of the internet. Well, this is something different, isn't it? Because we're also in a different place. We're in my dining room conservatory here which is where I do jigsaw puzzles and recently while I've been really busy I've not really been able to do any colouring and I've started doing jigsaw puzzles again to the extent where I will lay one out on this table and when I come down for lunch I might sit here for 20 minutes and do a bit of jigsaw and at night I can pop two or three pieces in and it's kind of opened the gateway back into relaxation because one of the things that's happened over the last two or three months is I am so stressed. <laughs> I'm so stressed I can't really colour. And I've actually worked through quite a few of my jigsaws. So I bought some more jigsaws. So this is basically a jigsaw haul. Which if you're here for colouring, <laughs> this is something just a little bit different. So currently I'm standing on a chair. <laughs> so let me get off the chair and let me show you the puzzles that I bought recently and there are quite a few here is someone who enjoys being in the uh, the puzzling room with me as it were yes this is Robbie Robbie yeah he's been out for a big walk okay so let's start let me start and show you the puzzles that I have bought recently so Let's start with these ones. Actually, slide it across the floor. So, um, one of the people that I'm watching a lot at the moment is Karen Puzzles, and because uh, just a jigsaw puzzle lady, and she has a lot of really nice graphical puzzles, which I'm I was severely lacking in, and I'd worked through a number of my puzzles, and I was looking for some new ones, and I decided to have a look at the works because I know the works. I wanted some 500 piece puzzles. Let's start at the beginning. I wanted some 500 piece jigsaws because with a thousand piece one, I can do it in, you know, maybe three or four hours. But I wanted one where I could just sort of chuck the bag out uh, at lunchtime, sort the edge pieces out, go back upstairs to work, come back down from, you know, and maybe sort of like the end of the day, that jigsaw was complete. And I decided to go to the works, not actually go to the works, but order online. One, because I had a 20% off code, and two, because they're 500 piece jigsaws, they're only £5. They're always the same quality, they're quite decent quality. Um, the cuts are always the same, which you kind of, it's not the best cut in the world, but it is, um, they're good quality for the, for the fiver that you pay for. And with 20% off, you end up getting them for £4, which for a jigsaw, a brand new jigsaw, £4 is quite good. So, I ordered online, got me 20% off, and I ordered this one, which is Jewelry Jumble, which is a 500-piece jigsaw. I ordered this one, which is Nautical Tabletop, and it's these ones with all the lots of bits going on that I enjoy doing, and they have to be sort of graphical. Then I ordered two Christmas ones, because um, when my family come around at Christmas, we always do multiple jigsaws, and this one's just so cute. Look, Santa feeding the animals, beautiful. And then I ordered this one, um, which is Santa delivering to a house. Look, it is so festive. Can't wait to do that one at Christmas. Uh, and then they're, they're the only four that I ordered online. Um, and then on Thursday, my husband had to go to Lakeside to pick up his watch that was being repaired. And he said, do you want to come with me? So I bunked off work for two hours and went with him. And while we were there, he treated me to lunch. And he said, do you want to have a look in the works while we're here? I haven't looked in the work for ages. And he treated me to two more jigsaw puzzles. And neither of the puzzles that I'm about to show you were online when I placed this order because I would have absolutely bought them. Um, so he, I got this one, which is Tiffany Flowers, which is lovely. And I would have definitely, and it's one of their new ones, because their new ones are not in polythene, so you can tell they're, they're kind of just sealed here, the new ones. So this was one of their new ones. This wasn't available online when I placed my order. And then this one, which is a thousand piece jigsaw, 
which is the bakery. I love these ones with all the bits. I love when you pick up a piece of jigsaw, you look and you go, okay, that's part of that chair. That's part of that blackboard. I, that's the kind of puzzles that I like doing. So they're all the puzzles that I got from the works. So then when I was, uh, when I when I was surfing around looking for puzzles, I typed in jigsaw puzzle sale because a while ago WH Smiths had a really excellent jigsaw puzzle sale and all their puzzles were down to like from fourteen ninety nine. You could pick them up for like three pounds kind of thing. So I wonder if anyone's got a jigsaw puzzle sale, you know, now the pandemic's over and they're trying to get rid of their overstocks. <laughs> and I found a jigsaw puzzle shop. I'm gonna to have to link it down below because I can't remember what the uh, what the shop name was, and I don't want to say the wrong one. And all of these puzzles were in their sale, so I got them, you know, cheaper than their full price. There's this one, which is a 500 piece um, round puzzle. Never done a round puzzle before, so I bought that one with birdies. This one, the tail of two chippies with loads of doggies on it which again like I say I like illustrations this one looks fun and this is 636 so again it's one that I'll just do in a couple of hours but I haven't really got a couple of hours to sit in one go and do so it's sort of one that's up. I'll sit up on the table I'll dip into it over a space of two days and it just takes <laughs> takes my stress down a couple of notches like at lunchtime or just after work and then this one, which is another 636 one, uh, 636 piece one by Gibson's, which is again, it's really nice and graphic and easy parts to do. And then this one, which was uh, reduced quite heavily in their sale. Now this isn't one that I'll dip into quickly, but look at it. Look at all the bits of it. I know they do this in a giant size as well, um, but this is 2000 piece one. So this one would be a nice project when I've got time to lay out on the table and no one's coming around for dinner and, and that kind of thing. So I got all of these from the jigsaw puzzle, this jigsaw puzzle shop. Then this one is pencils. This was um, in John Lewis and it was reduced from, oh, hold on, the price is in on the back, $16.99 to £6.50. And so I ordered this online and picked it up when we went shopping on Saturday. So this is, again, it's all brand new, all sealed. Uh, and it's pencils, but two worlds collide. This is a thousand piece foil jigsaw by Gallison. I've never done a Gallison jigsaw, so that would be interested to see what the quality of those are like. And then um, this next one, this next one was not reduced at all. I have a puzzle by Daniel Merriam. I bought it from WH Smiths. I really like the artist Daniel Merriam. I follow him on, on um, Instagram. I could never afford any of his art. And when I found out he bought out jigsaw puzzles and WH Smiths had one, they had it for like, I don't know what it was, 12 99 or something. I bought it and I did it. And then I was like, <laughs> I found out that he'd actually released three more jigsaw puzzles. So I hunted around to try and find them and I could find two more of them. This one is out of stock everywhere, apart from this tiny little shop called Barney's News Box. They had one left in stock. Um, it's full price, it wasn't reduced, but I was really like this artwork. So I ordered this full price, £14.99, £3.50 postage from Barney's News Box. Thanks Barney's for having it in stock because everywhere else it's out of stock. Okay, and that's all the full price jigsaws I bought. So I'd effectively bought 10 jigsaws um, and uh, my husband bought me another two when we went shopping the other day. And that was gonna be my lot. And I actually also got rid of 10 jigsaws. Now, I did a dig jigsaw declutter video, beginning of the year was it? Or earlier on in the year? I'll link it up here. And so some of those have gone already. And then I also did some jigsaws and then they've gone. So I actually got rid of 12 of my existing jigsaws. So it was 10 in and 12 out. So that wasn't too bad. And then I bought these. <laughs> now these are all uh, bought from eBay, was it? Let me remember, hold on, spin it round. No, this one was from the charity shop. 
Um, I had to go over to the post office to post one of the parcels, funnily enough, for eBay. And there's a charity shop next door, and I went in. This one was available. It's all sealed up. It's all brand new. Seems to be a brand that's sold on Amazon. This is a really nice detailed illustration of Venice. Thousand piece jigsaw made by this company called DIY House. And as you can see, this is like an Amazon label, so someone probably bought it in the pandemic and then never did it. They actually had the charity shop actually had four jigsaw puzzles by this brand. Three of them were open and this one's still sealed. The three that were open and done were scenes like, you know, scenes, <laughs> not you know, streams and mountains and the kind of thing, not really the puzzles I enjoy doing. And this one was still sealed. It was two ninety five from the charity shop. Bargain. So I bought that. This one is a double sided jigsaw puzzle. It's only five hundred pieces by Christian Lacroix. Lacroix. So um, it looks like that and that. And I bought this off of eBay for ten pound, including postage. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful to do? Can't wait. This one I bought, this is new. Ah, this was the other one I bought from that company. This, I bought it from the um, Jigsaw Puzzle Company. If this wasn't second hand, this is new. It was just very, very heavily reduced. And I saw Karen Puzzles do one of these jigsaws. It's a 3D jigsaw, you get 3D glasses with it. And, um, Actually, it's not 3D. You get three glasses with it, and when you put the blue, you see the blue. When you put the green glasses on, you see the green, and when you see the red. And this was heavily, heavily reduced, like 14.99 down to £6. And I was like, ah, it's one of the ones that Karen Puzzles has. I must buy it. That was the other one I bought from the disc jigsaw place. This one wasn't second hand. And then this one is second hand. It is a Cloudberries. Uh, jigsaw. I've never had a Cloudberry jigsaw because they're quite expensive and I generally only have cheap jigsaw puzzles. This one was on eBay and it was going for £8 including postage and I nabbed it at the last minute so I got this one for £8. So that one's second hand, uh, you know, second hand. I mean there's a picture of it done so I know all the pieces were there. That one was from eBay, that one was from the charity shop. And then these are the ones, that one and that one. Two Gibsons. Yes, I bought five from there. That was right, I bought five from there. I bought four at the time from the works and I ordered that one. I'd ordered ten and then I've ended up with more. So that is my, look at that, look at that, jigsaw puzzle haul that I have bought in October. All of these have been bought in October. Or did I start them in September? I'll clarify when I first bought the first order that I bought. It might have been the end of September. Um, I'm not buying any more for a while. Um, and then what I'm going to show you now is the puzzles that I have done in the last two weeks. Not quite, but the last ten days. So hold on. Actually, this was another thing that I bought. I bought four sheets of foam core from Hobbycraft. They do it for, I think it's £4 a sheet. And they was doing a deal where you got four sheets for £10. And I bought the foam core because I do each jigsaw puzzle on a foam core. And then if it gets too, I mean, you can see what it's like in it. It was beautifully bright during the day. But at night, if I want to dip into it and do a couple of pieces, I, take, I can lift it up. It's really easy to lift up and carry it in the front room. So it is this jigsaw by Daniel Merriam um, called Changing Views by Pomegranate. And... This was the one where <laughs> I needed something. Stand it on the chair so you can see it fully. I came down and I said, oh, I need something to relax. I wasn't colouring. Got this out of my existing jigsaw collection. Tipped it out on the board and went, right. It wasn't, I didn't have the balls in. I tipped it straight out on the table. And so it said, I'm starting a jigsaw. And I finished it over three days. It probably took about five or six hours over the, the three days. And... It was just like my gateway into de-stressing myself. And I love it, love this picture, which is why I bought the other Daniel Merriam one. So that's number one. Let's get that off the chair. Oh, oh don't, don't die. So the next one ooh, that I did was, this is when I then went out and bought some more jigsaws. This is the 
um, what's it called? Jewelry Jumble. This is the Jewelry Jumble by The Works. So this one actually took longer than I thought it would be. Uh, the, it's a very shiny jigsaw, which you can't see at the moment, because it's very busy. I did really enjoy it, though. The next jigsaw, hold on. Let's put this somewhere. Let's put it over here. That's what I used to do my jigsaws in. I've got one of them porter puzzle things. This jigsaw I had started. I need to stand up, or can you see it? Wild World Jigsaw by Schmidt. So it looks like that. I bought this from B&M for $3.99, or oh, cheap anyway, and I started doing it hmm, early on in the year, and for some reason it really frustrated me, and so I'd left it in that port puzzle thing that I just showed you, and I said to my husband when I bought all these new ones, I don't think I'm going to finish this one, it's, it was really annoying me, and he said, well, put it on the white and have a go. I put it on and I loved doing this puzzle. I don't know what it was about it, but this was the one that... The Daniel Marianne one, I still felt stressed while I was doing it. The um, jewellery jumble started me sort of feeling more relaxed. And then this one, I just... I would come down in the evening and I would just look forward to doing half an hour and just getting it, you know, just getting it done. And it is a beautiful puzzle now it's done really really like that one then the next one oh. trying to put them safely oh yes so the next one i did was this round one because as soon as it came i was like i want to do that one next so i did and i loved it really enjoyed it i don't usually enjoy ones with weird shaped pieces but I really enjoyed it. Such a beautiful puzzle. And then the next one I did was this one. Yes, which is the Gibson one. Another one that I've just only recently bought, as I showed you, the Italian Riviera one. This one was so fun. Um, I literally did this one in two hours. My puzzling um, mind is back again. I can literally now just go, which is fabulous. I just love it. Tipping the bag out, doing the edges, picking out the bits to do, and then just... I came down, I think, on Friday lunchtime, sorted out the edges. I had a 20-minute lunch break. And then yesterday, I came home from shopping, sat down in here, spent an hour and finished it. So it was about, about an hour and a half, this one, and it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. So i still got all those to do. Yay! And I've still got some more of my other ones to do, my more complicated ones what i wanted to do with the, not that one so much i just bought that one because that was extremely special offer what i wanted to do with these ones to, was to buy some more gateway drug into relaxation <laughs> that's what these all are then my gateway drug into relaxation so that's it so that's the um this is where i sit by the way you can see i've got all my puzzling paraphernalia around me i like these boards by the way they're got sorting bits um that's a second hand thing that my mum bought me. I've never done a 3D puzzle. I've got the bits sorted out in there. Yeah, I've started it, but I don't know whether I'll finish it. I'm not fond of, fond of them things. Anyway, that's it. Something different. A puzzle haul. And uh, yeah, see, I'm not colouring, but I am jigsawing. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.